And now to South Africa and the murder trial of Oscar Pistorius, the Olympic athlete, showing the strain after three days of grilling by the prosecutor they call the Bull Terrier. Pistorius is at the center of the case, and the prosecutor is trying to make the tale he has told seem preposterous. ABC's Lama Hassan was there. The grueling three-day cross-examination of Oscar Pistorius reaching a crescendo. You shot at her knowing that she's behind the door. It's not true, my lady. The prosecutor, nicknamed the Bull Terrier, once again going after the Paralympian accused of murdering his model girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. Asking if Pistorius really was afraid of intruders the night he fired four bullets into a bathroom door. Why he approached the bathroom at all. Why did you not leave through your bedroom door? My lady, I have very, very limited mobility on my stumps on a hard surface like tiles. Or make sure Steenkamp heard the warning Pistorius says he made to get down and call police. He never waited for a response. That's correct. Well, with Riva in this bathroom cubicle and Pistorius on the other side of this bathroom door, the prosecution today pouncing, asking him how could he have not known she was here. I don't know how long I was there for. All week, Pistorius tested emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> And cross-examination isn't even done yet. He has pled not guilty to all charges. Mama Hassan, ABC News, Pretoria, South Africa. And so we turn now to ABC's chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, here. Three weeks into this trial, how is he doing? Based on everything we've seen so far, he's got to be worried. Uh, I can't see how the judge is not going to convict him of at least the lesser crime of culpable homicide, which is a reckless killing. Also, there's a lot of evidence against him with regard to these gun charges and ammunition. So he's got to be worried. So far, what is his biggest problem right now? The biggest problem is that he's saying that he didn't realize that Riva wasn't in the bed even though he had to get the gun from underneath the bed. But when it comes to sort of overt contradictions, the biggest issue for him is where was he when this all started? In the bail hearing, he said this. He said, I woke up, went onto the balcony to bring the fan in. I heard a noise in the bathroom and realized someone was in the bathroom. But it would be hard to hear someone in the bathroom if he's out on the balcony. Now, during the trial, he's saying, I concede I didn't go on the balcony. This is very important in evaluating, did he really believe there was an intruder there, or was this a fight, as prosecutors allege? That's a really big change in testimony. Okay, some three weeks possibly to go as well, Absolutely. right, Dan? Yeah. Thank you tonight.